Let's get to the beginning of the Daily Dish. We first introduced you to Hank the Tank earlier yes. this week. Yes. Well, now he's hit two more homes in Whoa. Lake Tahoe. These pictures show the damage the 500-pound bear who eats pizza uh, left <laughs> behind. Frank. No one was home, thank goodness. And despite Hank's size, he was able to squeeze through that hole in the uh, minute, window minute. and break in. I mean, bless his heart, he's going to have to go to the fat farm. Uh, <laughs> Not if he keeps eating like that. I'm looking at him. Yes, kept, they banged on the outside of the house and got him to go out the back door, and I guess he tore the back door off, too. Extensive damage, at least 33 properties over the past few months. Now, animal groups are calling to okay. have Hank safely captured and relocated. Well, they're going to move him in. <laughs> a train car. <laughs> they're going to need a crane to pick that dude up. There is I, a, how would you, you have to somehow knock him out and then... Yeah. You know, bring the crane in to get him on the yeah. wherever you're going to take him. The wild thing is that black bears are generally pretty small for bears. You know what I'm saying? They're Except small. For Mike the tank. Not Frank. I mean, he's eating everything that he could possibly eat, apparently, in these houses. He's gone crazy. Here's the, here's the thing. I mean, if I'm in Tahoe right now, I am making sure that my food is in the fridge. Right. I mean, sealed up where Frank's super sensitive nose apparently cannot smell it. Yeah, I just wonder now because he's just been able to do it. He just yeah. goes to whatever door, you know, looking for a Goldilocks soup. I don't know what he's yeah, looking for. He's not for, hitting the same home. He's going to other homes. No, 33 apparently. properties, and it's yeah. extensive damage. It's not. Well, he's 500 pounds right. of bear. <laughs> he's going to do damage, especially if he's trying to squeeze through a window. I mean, it's right. like, boom, here comes Frank. I wonder oh. what he hates to eat. That would be the thing to have in your that, house. Yeah. Right? What would be I'll put kale to... all over the counter. <laughs> that would keep that, you out of there. That's Frank the Tank <laughs> repellent right there. <laughs> that would be awesome. Well, say what you will about this thief in Florida, but he's ambitious. <laughs> Surveillance cameras caught this man. Now, just wrap your mind around this. He's putting a $1,300 crossbow down his pants whoa, uh, earlier whoa. this month. He used a pair of tools from another aisle to clip off the ties. Did he not know there's a camera? Anyway, freezing yeah, really. it for, from its uh, freeing it from the display. Then he puts it down the, his pants and over, the coat over the shoulder, and he tries to hide out. And you know, but it, they get him. They get him two days later. Oh, really? My. There's the crossbow do down you, the you pants. Know, at, what do you well, need the crossbow? Huh? But how are you going to walk? Would that not be? Well, the... he's got a crutch. See, so it looks like yeah. It, 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 Looks oh, like he's got a limp, so he has that crutch, so it looks like, okay, well, he's got a limp because he's well, got Well, he thought that through, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah, he, he obviously didn't have a limp when he was party. walking away from the cane, but he, obviously when you got a crossbow on your pants, you're going to have a, a bit of a limp uh, there. Really? A bit of hitch in the giddy-up. Uh, yeah, well, he got caught. There you go. That's kind of how that works. I wonder what right, the penalty for stealing, <laughs> yeah. stealing a cross, cramming a crossbow down your pants. <laughs> 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 your Honor? <laughs> Good question. I may, we'll do a follow-up up story to see what happened. We need to do a follow-up story on that and also Frank the Tank when Frank finally uh, yeah, gets yeah, rescued. Yes, Hank the <laughs> Tank. Okay. So. Well, this is big news. Yes, it when is. it comes to girls basketball team, Go Braves. these gals are heading to the state championship for the first time, for the first time really? in the school's history, Ron. Yeah. The team going to square off with uh, Lafayette Central Catholic this Saturday, 930 Central. Right. And the game takes place at Gamebridge Fieldhouse in Indy. They're ready to roll. They're going to win, win. Proud, you know, Mommy over here in the corner. Yeah, is Heather the Ricketts info. over so here. So, girls, we're so proud this, of you. We really are proud of the Tecumseh Braves. Here's the thing. I mean, this is their first time to state. And as Kale likes to say, we're going to the ship. <laughs> going to the uh, ship. Another shout-out, too. We want to shout-out uh, Forest Park. 2A. Those girls are going also to state. Of course, that's in Du Bois County. They're yes. in Ferdinand. What a so shout out to the Forest Park girls and the Tecumseh Brave girls. And go get them. It's state coming up, I guess, this weekend, right? Is that we'll what's going to be? We'll hear all about it. We'll deal. be cheering, cheering them on. All right, girls, go get them. <laughs> go girls. Who's your lottery? Wants to warm up your winner? Go to tristatehomepage.com. You can enter to win a $25 scratch-off prize pack. The lucky winner is... Ginger Mayfield. Yes, Ginger Mayfield. Kentucky. Woo! Let's hear it for Ginger. Congratulations, Ginger. May all your scratch-offs be big winners. 